I was teasing him the other day. I was like, look, the family name is, you know, on the line here. <laughs> You're going to have to help me out. And he's like, I can't help you, son. I can't help you. Hi, everyone. My name is Omar Alakad. I'm the author of American War. I'm here with Tamil Pinnikat, who is one of my favorite actors and the star of one of my favorite TV series of all time. And I'm going to badger him with a bunch of rapid fire questions. <laughs> Hopefully you'll have really bad answers and this thing will go viral. I think it's guaranteed I'm going to have bad answers. <laughs> Let's check it out. Um, Let's do it. What was it about my book that you connected with? <clears throat> There's no quick answer to that. Uh, it's very close to home. It, uh, it affected me in a deep and personal way. Uh, I, I, I felt that I connected to the characters and, uh, and their and their plight, and um, and uh, I think your book is very, very real uh, and an unsettling take on the uh, possible near future. Thank you. What is the first word that pops in your head when I say Canada reads? Um, community. I mean, for I, I grew up in parts of the world where um, the idea of, of a community, or in this case, a country coming around storytelling and, and gathering around that idea and in support of that idea, that simply didn't happen in the parts of the world where I grew up. Hmm. And so to be involved in this thing um, where you see an entire country and entire communities come together to talk about books, talk about storytelling, that's a huge deal for me. Do you remember how your love of reading began? Yeah, I think, you know, my father worked a lot. He was a career politician. Um, and so at a young age, before my sisters were born, where I was the only child, my dad was gone a lot, either traveling or just working. He's a workaholic, he'd work 12 hours a day. But the one thing I looked forward to, and the one thing that he always did when he had the opportunity to, was to read to me. And he'd read me, uh, you know, amazing books. You know, uh, I remember, uh, you know, Tom Sawyer, Huckleberry Finn, um, um, White Fang. I mean, that was one of my favorite books as a kid, man. White Fang by Jack London, which is a Yukon story. And uh, I just, I, I, I I love those books. I love looking forward to uh, my father reading them to me. And then once I got old enough, I started reading myself. What was the best part of writing this book? There were no good parts of writing this book. <laughs> writing for me is just, a, a, it's not even a chore. It's just a, a nightmare of self-doubt that goes on for years and years and years. The best part was being done and looking back at it and, and being able to say, this was blank pages, and then I made something of it, which to me is a big deal. Well, it's quite the accomplishment, my friend. When did you know you wanted to be a writer? Uh, I was in the third grade. Uh, our school was having anti-littering week, and we were asked to do something for anti-littering week. And because I had no talent of any kind, I couldn't draw, I couldn't really do anything, I wrote a short story called uh, Dirty Harry and the Tin Can Trash Man. So off the bat, the very first piece of fiction I wrote was partially plagiarized. Um, I think I'd just seen Dirty Harry on TV or something <laughs> like that. Anyway, it got into the student newspaper, uh, student yeah. newspaper, the, the staple pamphlet that they gave to parents. And it was from that day that I, I knew this is, this is what I wanted to do with my life. That is fantastic. <laughs> and finally, how will you prepare for Canada Reads? This isn't the first time I've been asked this. Everyone's asking me about my debate techniques and all these things like I should know about this. I haven't done this before. I'm not a debater. I don't know. I'm going I'm to do my homework as best as I can and study this book and let the book speak for itself. Thank you so much for doing this, man. Thank you, brother. It. It's an absolute honor and a pleasure. Canada Reads, baby. <laughs>